Hi-ho there, Kermit the Frog here, and today I'm going undercover on the internet with my friends at GQ to find out what my fans want to know. It's actually me. Am I active on social media? Uh, oh, sure, yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but I'm also on Insta Swamp and Facebog, but mostly to stay in touch with family. Uh, you know, I, I try not to let social media take over too much of my life, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, well, when was the last time that I posted? Uh, well, I, I, I can't remember exactly. Um, you know, it was either my President's Day photo of Abraham Lincoln's pet bullfrog Cecil or uh, my contractually obligated Valentine's Day post about Miss Piggy. Uh, either way, you just have to follow me to find out. Uh, first up, Instagram. At World's Biggest Kermit Fan commented, This frog's got drip on this photo of me. Oh, that's nice. Let's see here. Um... Thanks for noticing, world's biggest Kermit fan. Uh, we frogs pride ourselves on our drip. You see, uh, frogs have active secretion glands that drip mucus and help keep us safe from predators and breathe underwater. So I definitely have drip. <laughs> Lots of helpful mucusy drip. Hmm? Well, drip means style and flair, really? Uh, gee, I wonder if all frogs know that. Uh, well, you know what? This is a great... Reminder why the backspace button is so useful. We'll just, we'll just do that, and we'll do this. Thank you for the nice compliment. Hmm. Ah, next we have a comment on Instagram from at all hail ice cream, who says, is this really Kermit the Frog? And uh, ooh, would you look at that? What a blast from the past. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Yes, at All Hail Ice Cream, that is indeed me. You might not have recognized me without my collar, and uh, as you can see, back then it wasn't really easy being green because I was uh, more of a chartreuse. There we go. Moving over to Twitter. Uh, this one's from... Uh, uh oh. At Miss Piggy. You really pulled some tough questions here. Miss Piggy posted, uh, Dear at Kermit the Frog, please ditch the jester collar look and try out something more in vogue. Wearing the same thing every day is such a fashion faux pas. Good grief. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think my collar is nice. Uh, but uh, if there is one thing that I have learned about Miss Piggy, it is that flattery is the sincerest form of, um, of flattery. So uh, let's see here. I appreciate the fashion tip from someone as stylish as you. Uh, as you once told me, a classic never goes out of style. She'll love that. Next up, from at BobbyKey89, who asks, Did at Kermit the Frog ever... Um, uh, looks like Miss Piggy replied. Uh, she says, Oh, Kermy, I didn't know you were online. Voo absolutely must join moi for a live stream. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm right in the middle of this actually me segment. Uh, uh, shucks. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thanks for the invite. Uh, I'm doing an actually me segment for GQ right now, so I'm a little swamped. Uh -huh. Enjoy your live stream. <laughs> Now, where were we? Okay, um, that's right. At BobbyKey89 wanted to know... Uh, sheesh, what now? Uh, oh, great. It's at Statler Waldorf. They ask, uh, is that the series where you have to respond to ridiculous questions from the Internet? Uh, is, th is this how these things normally go? No. Uh. Okay, let's see. If so, we have a question for GQ. I, you know, I'm sorry that this is kind of going off the rails here. Uh, they say, uh, why doesn't GQ get someone exciting like that Mr. Brett Goldstein for the show instead of you, Frog? Huh. Good grief. I mean, Brett Goldstein already did the show. These guys are really behind the times, you know. What? More. I, I, I can't believe this. I'm so sorry. Uh, Oh, this is from Gonzo. He asks, uh, Kermit, while you're with GQ, ask them if they got my 37 emails about doing a profile on the fashion of the modern weirdo. Uh, actually, that could be a compelling read. <whistles> okay, now there's a, a tweet from Scooter, and uh, it says here, uh, Chief, he calls me Chief. 
Chief, did you see my text about game night? I need your RSVP ASAP so I know how much pizza to order. Oh, that, that actually sounds kind of fun. Huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, I will be there. My pizza order is... Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, Rizzo replied before I could... Oh. Oh, now there's Fozzie. Uh, look, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't keep up with all of this. Uh, maybe I better try to put a stop to it. Uh, here we go, let's see. Um, I'm still in this GQ thing. Can everybody please stop replying until I'm done? I probably should have seen that coming. Uh, you know what, let's try to get back to at BobbyKey89's question before anybody else. <clears throat> and, uh, yep, there it is. That's Pepe, right on cue. He says, uh, you're with GQ? Tell them I'm available for next month's cover or any month after or through 2027. Uh, this has got to stop. Uh, oh, yeah, let's see here. Like I said, I am busy right now, so please, please stop replying until I am finished. <sighs> there, that should do it. Uh, okay, uh... So, uh, uh, the Electric Mayhem says, we can get, oh, nope, it's gone. Uh, now Miss Piggy is back, and she says, uh, but when will, eh, now that's gone too. Uh, what does GQ stand for? Hilarious, Fozzie. Uh, there's Uncle Deadly, and Rizzo, and Gonzo, and, uh, 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 uh. Mm. Well, I guess the Muppets have finally broken the internet. Uh, and your computer. Sorry about that. Uh. Uh, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I set aside a little me time for self-care because of moments uh, just like this. <laughs> so uh, I guess we're going to stop here. Thanks to GQ for having me, and uh, my apologies to at BobbyKey89. Uh, someday we'll answer that question. This is Kermit the Frog signing off from the Internet for a while, uh, maybe forever. You know, this didn't happen when Chris Hemsworth did the show.